ball is thrown straight up in the air and reaches a height of 22 meters. What is the initial velocity if we neglect air resistance? Okay, so we're talking about a ball here that's being thrown straight up into the air. It reaches a maximum height and it starts falling down. Okay, now we've learned some um, other methods to actually go and calculate anything that we need for a scenario like this, but obviously we are doing um, conservation of mechanical energy. So we actually want to know using that uh, equations that we have what is the initial velocity. So it has an initial velocity that is unknown. The only thing we actually do know is that the maximum height reached is 22 meters. Okay, I lie. We also know that the gravitational constant is 9,8. Now what does the, con the principle of conservation of mechanical energy state? Well, it simply says that at any point along here mechanical energy must be um, the same. Okay, so what is mechanical energy? Okay, E mechanical. Okay, what is mechanical energy? It's simply potential energy plus kinetic energy or a different way of writing it Okay, potential energy plus kinetic energy. That's sim simply mechanical energy and we know that uh, potential energy is mass times gravity times height and we can see okay we have height here okay we have gravity great okay we don't have mass though so let's hope that doesn't come to haunt us okay how about kinetic energy is a half oh no we have mass again here okay uh, times velocity squared. Well, here's the velocity okay, that I'm trying to calculate. So let's just see at any point whether I'm here or there or there or right at the top. If I calculate mechanical energy, in other words, these two values, I should get the same um, uh, value. So at the top, I get that my potential energy at this top is equal to mass times gravity times height which is equal to mass I don't know gravity is 9.8 and height is 22 now what is the kinetic energy here at the top well it's stopped moving it's reached its maximum height so it doesn't have any velocity so kinetic energy will simply be zero Okay, how about here at the bottom? What is the potential energy here at the bottom? Well, when it's back on the floor, it's got no potential to move at all. Okay, which means its potential energy is zero. It's zero because its height is zero. Okay, how about the kinetic energy? Okay, kinetic energy, we don't know anything. We know half mass times velocity squared. We don't know anything, but we do want velocity. Okay, so what do we know? <laughs> Apparently nothing. No, what we do know is that at the top we only have that. So we know that me initial mechanical energy must equal final mechanical energy. And we know initially when it was thrown up into the air we had zero potential energy and half mass times velocity squared. Okay, at final mechanical energy, that's there at the top, we saw, okay, well, potential energy is this time mass times 9.8 times 22, okay, plus our kinetic energy at that point was equal to zero. And now you'll just notice here the zeros are non influential. So if I just divide both sides with a mass, so as long as mass is not equal to zero, I'm allowed to do that. And a ball does not have zero mass. Okay, so it cancels and also divide with a half to get velocity on its own. Divide with a half, then we get that velocity squared is equal to 9.8 times 22 divided by a half. What is that? 9.8 times 22 
is equal to 215 divided by 0.5. There we go. The velocity squared is 431.2. Okay, which means that the velocity is equal to the square root plus minus the square root of 431.2, which gives me an answer of uh, 20.77. So plus minus 20.77. And you can see, um, why is it plus minus? Well, because we're down here, okay? Um, it could be the velocity upwards or it could be the velocity, which is the same, downwards when it's coming back. Now, they told us to use gravity equal to 9.8, which means downwards is positive, okay? Which means that velocity is equal to negative 20.77 meters per second and that's it that's the velocity the initial velocity let's go fill it out okay here we see that mechanical energy the formula is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy okay and here what is the relationship between mechanical energy and uh, initial and mechanical energy final, well, they are equal to each other. Cool. Then what did we find as our initial mechanical energy? Well, our potential energy was zero plus we had half mass times velocity squared. Okay, we didn't know mass or velocity. Our final mechanical energy our uh, potential energy was mass times gravity times height, which in this case was 22. And our kinetic energy at the top was zero. Okay, and now we substitute this equation two and equation three into the original. In other words, before is equal to after when we talk about mechanical energy. And that's where we had a half mass times velocity squared is equal to mass times 9.8 times 22 preview okay that's good and then when we solved V we found that v, uh, velocity was equal to negative 20.77 okay meters per second Okay, negative one. Okay, now let's just preview. Okay, that looks good. But now they tell me I should give direction. Okay, now since I know that it's upwards, I shouldn't include the negative there because it's not negative 20 upwards. Okay, the negative already indicates direction. So if I do indicate direction, the correct direction, I should take away the negative. So the velocity is 20.77 meters per second upwards. Okay, if it wasn't for the upwards, I would have kept the negative there to indicate that it was upwards. But that's it. Preview. All good.